Hey YouTube, this is Print Practical. This video is part two of the attachment system for the Milwaukee M18 leaf blower. So last video we designed the attachment base along with the wide nozzle. And that wide nozzle just locks right onto the blower. We're gonna be designing two attachments in this video. The first attachment is going to be a tool that helps clean out your gutters on your first floor without having to step on a ladder. And the second attachment is going to be a multi-use attachment that can be used to inflate an air mattress or an inflatable pool or whatever you're trying to fill up with air. So for the gutter cleaning attachment, I'm gonna need an extra foot to a foot and a half off the end of the blower, along with a 180 degree bend, and I'm gonna try and keep it around the same diameter as the end of the blower. In order to do this, I picked up some things from Lowe's. I got a two foot PVC pipe with three inch diameter. And then I have a 90 degree elbow, and I have a 90 degree street elbow. So the goal is to assemble these pieces like this, and then this will attach to the blower, and you'll be able to clean out your gutter. I picked up these pieces for around $15 from Lowe's. Unfortunately, they didn't have any like drainage PVC, which is a lot lighter, so this is some heavy duty stuff. So it's a little bit heavy, so when I go to actually pick the blower up with this attachment on, I'm definitely going to hold it with two hands until I have it totally vertical. Uh, that way I don't break off the, the nozzle of the, the blower. So to make this fit on the blower, here's what we're going to do. First, we're going to take the attachment base that we designed, and we're going to extrude it out so that it covers about you know 50 millimeters of this PVC pipe. Also, because this is kind of hefty, um, we're gonna beef up the the old adapter. I think typically it was like three millimeter walls and we're gonna bump that up to like five or six. So once this PVC pipe is attached to the blower, I do wanna design a tip that will press into the end of this elbow, which will point the air out at like a 45 degree angle. So that way you can blow along the gutter instead of it just blowing straight down on the gutter and it blowing in both directions. So let's send these parts to the printer and then we'll come back and assemble the attachment and then we'll try it out. So the attachment base with the locking tabs is going to press down on top of the PVC pipe. It's a very tight press fit. Now we're gonna take our 45 degree angle piece and it's going to press right up into the elbow. And now you should be able to turn this depending on which direction you're blowing down the gutter. So it's two months later and this is the first sunny day I have to try out my gutter cleaner. It's about 50 degrees out and recently it's just been snowing and raining. So this is the first day that I had to test it. So let's go give it a try and see how it does. move on to the inflating attachment. So I have this twin size air mattress that has an external pump and I'm sure other people have similar mattresses where you lose the pump or the pump goes bad. So why not use your leaf blower to inflate it? It's got a little port and a flap so we gotta design something to hook up the leaf blower to this. So since every air mattress or pool probably has a different size, what my idea is, is that I'm going to take the attachment base and I'm going to extrude out to a little hole, probably a little smaller than the inlet here on the blower. And I'm gonna thread that hole. So that way you can just design a little nozzle that's going to screw into the end of the attachment. And then for my specific air mattress, I'm going to design two different tips for it. One that just goes around the whole thing and has a center punch that just punches that flap down. And for the second one, I'm just going to draw a half circle that will just push right into the mattress. 
So let's send those tips off to the printer and then we'll come back when they're done. So we have our attachment base here, which has this nice threaded port on it, and that will just drop down right onto the blower and lock on. So we're going to start with tip number one. We're about half inflated, so let's try out tip number two. So overall, I think the inflation tip worked out really well. If you lost your pump or you're camping and you don't have any electricity, but you have your blower, you can easily blow up your air mattress. So that wraps up the attachment system for the Milwaukee M18 leaf blower. As always, all the parts designed in this video, along with the part one video, are gonna be on Thingiverse. I'll put the Thingiverse link in the description. If you like what you watched, subscribe to the channel and put a comment down below if you have any ideas for things you want me to design in the future. Thanks for watching.